back everyone. You may be having some issues with your iPhone where for some reason the audio isn't working. Now to fix this, there's really not one universal fix. Your iPhone may actually end up having a speaker issue. So if that ends up being the case, none of these things are going to fix it. You're pretty much just going to have to get it replaced by Apple or something. But the first thing I would recommend doing is flipping your phone to the left and seeing if the speaker or this you know silent little bar right here is flipped down. If it's flipped down, it's on silent mode. If it's flipped up, it's not on silent mode. So if you're off silent mode, just like this, as you can see, I'm on silent mode, I'm off. If you get the little thing where it's on silent mode and you take it off and then it's off silent mode, you will then be able to hear your calls coming through and different things like that. So if it's on silent mode, you should still be able to hear everything that's going on, but just not the phone calls going through. So it's just going to vibrate your phone. So if you're specifically worrying about your ringtone not working or whatever, that is the main way you can go ahead and fix that specific issue. The next thing I would recommend looking at though, is flipping your volume all the way up. So you can see, if you see this bar on the left with the volume buttons right here, I was able to bring the volume pretty much all the way up. Now I can bring it all the way down by holding it down, but if your volume buttons don't work and you may think that's why your audio is not working, well, you can actually change the audio within the control center. So if you have an iPhone with a notch, you can swipe down on the top right. If you have an iPhone with a home button, you swipe up, you get into this panel, and this bar all the way to the right right here is the sound panel right next to the brightness. So all you have to do is grab the little sound toggle and you can just bring it up and that pretty much replaces the volume button. So you can bring this up, you can bring this down just like this and then wherever you set it is how your sound's going to go through. So if you want your sound to be kind of a little bit loud or whatever, you can bring it loud, you can bring it low. But that's another thing you can do. Then you can try playing a song or something. If your sound is still not working at that point, the next thing I would recommend doing is to make sure you're not connected to a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones or anything like that because a majority of the time you may actually be connected to them and you may not even know it. So what you want to do is you want to hop into your settings like this, you want to click on Bluetooth, and you want to go ahead and disconnect your Bluetooth settings. So if it shows that you're connected to a phone or maybe you don't even care, you want to go ahead and just turn off Bluetooth, you want to turn it off. You keep in mind this is going to turn off your Apple Watch connection settings and all that. And all you have to do then is try the same thing. Try playing a song, try playing some sounds, and see if those things are able to go through properly. If they are, then you know you may have just been connected to a Bluetooth speaker or something, and you may have not even known it, or you may be some Bluetooth device like headphones or AirPods or something, and they were out of your sight and you didn't even realize that. That is probably one of the more common things that may happen to you, and that's what happens to me all the time. But if that doesn't fix it either, your phone may actually end up thinking that you have earpods ear connected or headphones connected or whatever. So another thing you can do is grab like a toothpick or grab some plastic prying tool and go inside of your charging port here and try to pry out anything like, you know, like debris or dust or, you know, whatever fabric may be stuck in the charging port. You want to go ahead and clean that out. If you have a headphone jack, you want to do the same thing there. And sometimes there may be some like stuff stuck in there and your phone may interpret it as some type of, you know, air, ear pods or something. So that's another thing you can do. And that, those are pretty much the main things as well. And those are pretty much the main things I would recommend looking at if your iPhone's audio isn't working. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.